Hi, and welcome to another Mr. James Accounting tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about Accounting Unit 2, 2008 Paper 2, Module 2. And uh, we have before us here, we come associate manufacturers of precision parts and Marcella Power, the prime plant minister has provided us with some information here. You would read it on your time. I have already read it. And uh, right now what I'll do is read the, what is required. And you can pause the tape and read the rest of the data before continuing. Calculate the overhead rate per machine hour. Two, assuming that Marcella uses the traditional job order costing system, calculate the total cost of the proposed job. Three, calculate the activity cost driver rate for each of the four activities, machining, setup, engineering, and inspecting. And four, using the activity rates obtained in three above, calculate the cost of job using the activity-based costing system. Five, explain how activity-based costing system can provide more accurate product costs than traditional costing systems. First, the overhead rate per machine hour. The Overhead rate per machine hour can be calculated by dividing the total overheads by the total machine hours. And that would be 1,800,000 divided by 200,000, and it's equal to $9 per machine hour. Part two requires the total cost of the, the job using job costing or traditional costing. So we have the direct materials, which is traceable, 60,000. Direct labor, 24,000. That too is traceable. And the overheads, non traceable, we will allocate that using, or rather, a portion that using the POHR that we just calculated, 4,000 hours by $9 per machine hour equals 36,000 hours, sorry, $36,000. And then we add it up together, we get a total cost being 76,000 for the job. Next, we have the activity rates, part three. To get an activity rate, we divide the expected overhead costs for the activity divided by the activity capacity or the number of cost drivers for that activity. Machining is 880,000, the expected overhead costs, and we divide it by 200,000 machine hours, and we get 400, sorry, $4.40 per machine hour. Then we have set up equipment, 120,000 expected overhead divided by 300 setups, so that's $400 per setup. Then engineering, 440,000 divided by 20,000 equals $22 per engineering hour. And inspecting, 360,000 divided by 12,000 inspection give us $30 per inspection. Now we can take the activity rates and uh, use it to determine the job cost using ABC costing. Part four requires the job cost using ABC. So again, we have the direct cost, the material 16,000 is the same as under the job costing, traditional costing. Similarly, the direct labor, 24,000, same. And then we have the machining, 
if it's activity, um, activity rate we just calculated four dollars and forty cents by four thousand hours. There was seventeen thousand six hundred. Then set up one set up by four hundred. There was four hundred dollars engineering to twenty two dollars by twenty hours. There was four forty and inspecting. Thirty dollars by two dollars it was sixty, and when we add them together, we get fifty-eight thousand five hundred. And this, of course, can be compared with the job costing of seventy-six thousand dollars that we got just now. And we notice how much more efficient the activity-based costing is in a proportion in the cost to the jobs. How we we see provide more accurate costs by charging to the product or services only those costs of activities used in its production. And traditional costing charges the total cost of production, whether the activity is used or not in production. Okay, so that brings us to the end of part E. We move to part B, and part B is dealing with service costs. And it deals, it asks us to calculate the budgeted overhead rate for each department for March 2008. And the compute the cost of total charges to Ms. Gardner if she spent the entire month in the facility eight marks so we have here a general hospital using an indirect cost job costing system for all patients so it's using job costing to allocate the cost of the services and we have three departments critical care special care and general care and the uh, overhead or the course for the month of March 2008 are presented below 3720,000 for nursing care course, special care 2,466,000, general care 1,920,000, and the number of days here. Okay. A patient, Roxy Gardner, spent eight days in critical care and 12 days in special care during March 2008. The remainder of the 31 day month was spent in a general care area. Okay, so she used all three departments. Okay. Right, so first we will calculate the budgeted overhead rate for each department. So they're using departmental. Uh, rates instead of our plant wide rate. But instead we are for each department, we take the critical care, the total cost, and we divide it by the number of days. We get 3,720,000 divided by 7,500 days equal 496 per nursing day. And we have the special care. 2,466,000 divided by 60,000 gives us $411 per nurse in D. And general care, 1,920,000 divided by 12,000 gives us $160 per nurse in D. Now they're going to use these rates here to calculate the bill for. Ms. Gardner. Total to Ms. Gardner. Critical care, 496 by 8 days will give us 39.68. Special care, 411 by 12 days will give us 49.32. And general care, 160 by 11 days will give us 17.60. And the total charges would be ten thousand six hundred and sixty dollars. That brings us to the end of this 
presentation. If you find it helpful, you please give it the thumbs up. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, you can give it the thumbs down. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.